Hello, I just wanted to make a video response to some of the videos and articles that I've seen by a guy by the name of Daniel Vitalis. Uh, specifically what he's been saying about fruit and our modern fruit and how it's not fit for human consumption because it's a cultivated, um, unnatural food. And I think that's totally incorrect and I want to show you why. Uh, to help me out here, I got um, a banana. This one's called, oops, there we go. This one's called a manzano banana. Um, and we can use this to represent a, a wild banana. Let's just, let's just pretend it's a wild banana, it's inedible, and it's full of seeds. And uh, we have this banana here, which you're probably more used to. It's a Cavendish. It's you know, a lot sweeter. Um, you know, there's no seeds, um, so it's a, you know, easier to eat banana. Now, what Daniel is saying that since uh, this banana, or the banana that we eat, um, or an apple or a tomato evolved from an inedible plant, uh, like this one, um, or, or whatever, uh, it means that it's, it's not a natural food for us to eat. But what uh, Daniel fails to realize is that all food evolved from inedible things. So if you study evolution, you know this, you know, a, like complex life comes from simple life. Um, the edible comes from non-edible. It's just, it's part of evolution. Um, so, you know, we have, we have the banana today, the modern banana, and, uh, you know, even though the mechanism of how it came to be may not be natural, um, man may have inter intervened in that process, the, the actual um, creation of the banana is still 100% natural. Um, yes, it has more sugar, but yes, it also has fiber and it has more vitamins and minerals and water. So you can't say that, you know, these foods, because they're higher in sugar uh, than they used to be, um, are less healthy for us because, you know, yeah, they have more sugar, but they have all that other stuff too, which is really important. But even to say that there wasn't sweet fruit in the millions of years that primates have been evolving is totally not true. Just look at the the bonobo, or you know, the flying fox, or the um, you know the, the the fruit bat. You know, these these animals they evolved on eating fruit because it's high in sugar, because it's you know because it tastes good, because it's easy to pick out. It's big. Um, you know, and if, and if wild fruit, all those millions of years, wasn't, didn't have those characteristics, you know, these animals wouldn't have evolved to eat them. So I think that's, I think that's very interesting. I don't think uh, anything he said uh, really addresses that, that fact. Um, so, so really, I mean, even though the banana, you know, like I said, the mechanism, how it came to be, may not be the most natural process. Man, man helped with that. Um, it's still a completely natural food. The tomato is still a completely natural food. Um, and we know this for one simple fact. We can tell for absolute certainty that, um, you know, even though, even though the cactus pear, um, you know, may not have existed in nature, um, you know, the way it looks today, we know for a fact that it's a great food to consume for one simple reason. It tastes good. And it's, and it's something that comes from the ground. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to add spices to it. You don't have to marinate it. It just tastes good by itself. And I think, I think that in and of itself is a great indicator that something is meant for our consumption. But even, even if that wasn't the case, we know for a fact, science has shown that um, fruits and vegetables, even if they're this uh, unnatural form of them, are still enormously, enormously nutritious. And, um, you know, there's no substitute. So um, saying they're not a natural food, I think is just an, uh, a misstatement and I think um, it's ignorant. Um, so I hope, I hope he um, someday, um, you know, realizes this point and, you know, corrects his statements. So that's, that's kind of all I wanted to, all I wanted to talk about today. So I'm gonna end it there. Um, we gonna get some raw water. Uh, and just uh, peace out. See ya.